do not farm solely gold echoes. I repeat, do not just run in between the bosses all day long without doing nothing else once you reach level 35 on your way to level 40. The reason why is your account level won't progress as fast as it could and you might feel like you are stuck in the mud or even you will be behind once you reach level 40 if you don't do this, even if you are consuming your stamina and doing your daily quest to gain some XP. So today is my short recommendation, the main guidelines I'm going to apply for swift progression plus the very important item that you are going to get absolutely stuck with at the end of the video, so stick for that. Let's start first with some simple key roadmap priorities that I'm going to detail afterwards. So what you should be doing on three step, it's number one, it's keep farming XP to raise your account level to 40. Aside from your daily quest and from your side quest and whatever your stamina, you should keep trying to find ways to farm XP when you don't have any more resources. Number two, prioritizing preparing your main TPS with all material needed to level it up to 70. And number three, then focus on echoes. So let's break it down. Number one, keep farming XP to get to level account level 40. So aside from your daily quest, your event mission and using all of your stamina every single day, you must still spend time to explore the map and unlock the treasure or the puzzle you haven't found yet to complete your exploration percent per region as much as you can. Not only you are going to get the only XP you are able to gather aside uh, from your stamina, your daily quest and your events, but you will get various juicy rewards from the exploration completion. And the very one utility item you should have equipped by now on your wheel is the loot mapper. So to be able to scan each piece of the map you are walking through to find those. Please spend time every day to go in one region. I recommend to focus on one region and walk through to unlock most of the terrain to first find those treasures and puzzles. Of course, you can pair this with whatever activity. If you still have some side quest and give some XP, please feel free. Just use it as a lead to go somewhere and clear all around it. Take your time before to complete it. Now, number two. Prioritize farming resources for your main DPS to level up to 70. So I highly recommend you use your stamina first to pre-farm all the material you need to level up your character, level and weapon to level 70. Because it does not look like, but actually it takes some resources. So farm those first and also about your skill tree. Try to unlock as much as you can while you are level 60 and try to see what's next and what you can farm, what you can prepare for synthetizers, for example, for the gold items here to be sure to be ahead and once again to be ready at level 40 to get your main DPS level up to level 70. Now, finally, I would suggest you focus on your main DPS echoes. So either to find the echo mats needed to level up some pretty decent echoes you already had. If you have been lucky, like here, you can see I have a pretty decent crit rate on my Calcaro. Uh, but also to try to get some missing gold echoes, main stat you do not have yet. Um, this can happen also if you have been unlucky. But by level 35, you should have, you know, few decent here main stat and sets for most of your unit if you have been farming a little bit. Now, one question someone can ask is, but why you suggest to farm the echoes at last after the material. Why the echoes at last? So let me share the thought process here. If you start, you are level 35 on your way to level 40 right now to focus only your days to try to farm the perfect substat echoes, you are going to waste a lot of your time. And by the time you are level 40, probably you won't have them because it's very hard to get in this game the perfect main stat, stat and substats on one echo. It's not that easy and you might waste a lot of time because once you reach the level 40, number one first, you unlock the databank level 20, which is the only way to guarantee that every time there is an echo dropping, it will be a gold. The purple's drop rate will be close to none. There is this to take in consideration, but the other thing is by level 40, you need a DPS level 70 to keep efficiently, you know, farming in your progression. And if you arrive level 40 and you did not think about, oh, I need to raise my main DPS to level 70, you disperse yourself a little bit too much, then you are going backwards. You are going to grind back all the resources to grind, you know, the level of your character. Oh, I need, you know, to level up all the weapon to unlock 
all of this and all of the skills and it's going to take you a lot of time from level 40. So basically, you are going backwards, you are not progressing. And by the way, if you have a different opinion or experience, please feel free to share it in the comment section below. And to resume it, number one, my priority is to keep farming XP. It's, my priority is exploration. Every single day with the loot mapper, whatever my goals are, it's a quest, you know, I'm farming some material, I go in a location and I'm trying to unlock all the region around using the loot mapper and to get those extra XP every single day to fasten my progression. Number two, I already found most of the material I need for Calcharo to be ready after when I reach level 40 to immediately, you know, raise him up the character level and also the weapon level to 70 and I'm still farming some bits of material here just to unlock and prepare for the skill tree. Number three, maybe like many of you at level 35, you should have some gold echoes already. I do have already the full main stat set for Calcharo, so I do not need ultimately to farm some more at the moment. And I'm not doing so to try to chase for the substat yet. As I mentioned to you, I will wait for level 40 for that. And you're gonna ask me, but once you've done this, what should I be doing? But once you've completed your main DPS eco and you are still doing your XP exploration grinding on the daily basis, then you should focus on another unit, on your main team. I highly recommend because everyone should have Verina by now, but you can start to prioritize a little bit on your sub DPS. Once again, just getting some material ready, etc. Because you're gonna need, anyway, a team at some point at level 70 for the other's content afterwards after level 40 but what you can do also as well if it's not your existing sub dps if you are targeting for example the upcoming tremendous double jiggle here uh, quickly character coming uh, very soon on the banner if you want to pull for her, then you can start to grind for her. you can start to do the same meaning Number one, focus on the material instead of the echoes. Then after you go for a set of main echo stats you want for her. So this is what you can be doing. Once you do your main DPS, you switch to others. And I told you earlier on the video, there is one item that everyone is sleeping on. And I only recommend you focus out on it. You spend immediately right now some of your stamina to farm some. Because it actually does not drop in many collateral content you are doing on a daily basis. To compare to the other resources, it is the eco material for leveling echo. So echoes are where most of your power, as you know, and grind is going to be after level 40. And you need to stack up those echo material for leveling this is absolutely critical and i highly recommend you go on in on those and try to get some good stacks there are plenty of ways to farm those i won't spend more of your time for today's video with some detail about it uh, one recommendation is to spend some of your stamina on the tacit fields as you can see here or any other boss battle than give some premium quality ones aside of course of clearing out all the event mission you can find and some remaining side quests that contain also some eco-leveling material here as your main priority. By the way, my name is Natoji and you can find my regular Withering Waves adventures, account progression and content on my channel, some new player guides and also mobile settings guide. Yes, I only play on mobile. That has helped more players than I was expecting. So thank you so much for watching my videos today. Remember to destroy that like button and hit that bell to support the channel. Turn on your notification to receive some more. And as usual, I wish you all to be safe, to be well and until the next, stay tuned everybody.